after wowing us in August with his Mickey Mouse impression. Blake is back this month to showcase two talents that go hand in hand. He's also encouraging me to revisit a skill I've long had on my personal bucket list, learning to play this instrument. Enjoy! On the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again I find lovers to make music with my friends I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Going places that I never been I find lovers to make music with my friends You first met Connor last month when he shared his storytelling joke alongside his dog, Kaya. But you might also recall that I first met him many years ago when he was in my fourth grade class. Today, Connor is sharing a skill he's learned through hard work and determination, proving that anything is possible when you put your mind to it. What's up, everyone? My name is Connor, but you can call me Con Con for short. I have a secret talent for you today. I hope you enjoy. As a person with a disability, it's awfully difficult for me to get around. What if I wanted to see my friends and no one is able to drive me? Sure, there is Uber and Lyft, but over time it gets expensive. Luckily for me, I have the perfect solution. And this is where my talent comes to play. I have an electric scooter, and this scooter is capable of going 20 miles per hour and 24 miles in range, which is good enough to go places and back without losing a lot of battery life. Best of all, it's free. After buying the scooter, that is. Why is this a talent, you say? That's easy to answer. I can't drive a car or ride a bike thanks to my cerebral palsy, but with this scooter, it's something I can actually ride. Everyone in my family was skeptical about it, but when I got my first electric scooter back in 2016, I got the chance to show what I can do. Ride an electric scooter all by myself. How awesome is that? Who knows, maybe you'll see me riding around one day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video that I made. As it turns out, maybe I do have two hidden talents. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Stay well and healthy, my friends. In August, Jennifer shared her power washing and deck sanding skills with us. This month, she's sharing the stage with the real winners of Shelter in Place, our pets. It's clear this team has been enjoying all their extra time together. Robbie's been a part of the Sunflower Hill family since day one. Whether washing dishes at the stable cafe, painting stakes to label our garden fields, or sharing other artistic creations to help raise funds for our mission, he's proven to be multi-talented and kind-hearted. Today, he's sharing a skill his mom says he developed at a very young age, but just recently picked back up during his extra time at home. Enjoy.
Thank you so much to everyone who submitted a talent video this month. It's incredible to see all of the ways that you've been gifted, and it's personally encouraged me to explore some new things soon. A very special thank you also to participant Connor, who as you saw in his video clip today, has a way with video editing. It's a skill he was happy to share with us as he actually edited this entire participant video this month. We appreciate you and your talent so very much. Thank you. If you're an adult with a developmental disability and you'd enjoy being a part of a future video project like this, we'd love to get you involved. Check back next week for more information about our upcoming November participant video, where I'll be sharing more about what we're highlighting that month and how to send us your submissions. We can't wait to see what you come up with.